What's up guys, Mr. J here and today we're going to talk about how to draw a realistic portrait. Now this video is going to be for people who are maybe starting out and I don't know if you're like me, when you look at other tutorials there's lines all over the place of the face and you don't know why they go which direction or uh, what they mean. So we're going to talk about what those lines mean, we're going to talk about what the proportions of the face are, and then we're going to talk about how to draw each part of the face individually. And I think we're going to do this one part at a time, so we're going to focus on the eyes today. But by the time we're done, you'll be able to draw portraits that look something like this. Are you ready? Let's get right into it. First thing you're going to do, and I already have it a little bit sketched out, you need to start with a big oval shape. I'll sketch my oval. I'll make it a little darker so you guys can see it. I actually made that a little too low. So that's perfect. We've got a line across right across the middle 50 percent in now i'm making these dark so you guys can see them but you're going to want to sketch them out lightly all right so that line goes straight across the middle half and half now what's that line for that line's for the eyes now we eyeball it and we look halfway down again and in between the eye line and the chin that's going to be the bottom of the nose all right and then halfway between the bottom of the nose and the chin we're going to have the lips now does that have to be exactly perfect measure it with the ruler no but if it's close that's what's going to make your face look nice and proportional oh and let's put a line down the middle so we know where the middle is all right so let's go back on that you start with an oval shape you cut it in half with a horizontal line cut it in half with a vertical line and then the bottom of the nose is halfway between the chin and the eye line. And the middle of the mouth is halfway between the nose and the chin. Okay, and I'll try to put those numbers up uh, when we edit this video. Alright, so let's talk about eyes. The human head is five eyes wide. So we kind of figure it out. And you may see a teacher maybe start measuring like this if you ever see for measuring for sight so let's see I think that ought to do it yeah that should be good oh you know what let's talk about this eye line people always want to cheat the eye line because they think the eyes are somewhere up there no that's the forehead do not put eyes in the forehead guys it's got to be in the middle of the oval so up here is mostly just gonna be a little bit of forehead and hair eyes are in the middle it might not seem right if you're not used to it but do not put eyes in the forehead okay so eyes are kind of evenly spaced out and that's what we're doing today uh, that's pretty close so this middle section not where an eyeball goes right so the second one out we're gonna make an arch line here and an arch line here it's gonna be the top of my eye oh and I see them yeah I can make that work all right then we're gonna do an arch line under the bottom arch line for the bottom and the bottom of the eye the round part is a little more to the outside so you might want to give it a little more I don't know almost like you're drawing half of a heart out here because it does get round a little farther off the middle all right and then your eyes are going to go in and you shouldn't be able to see the top of the eye unless they're afraid or surprised so there's one eye there's two iris shapes and then for me when I do the pupil that little dot I kind of make a little C and then I make a bigger C so it's like a little Pac-Man or somebody cut a chunk out of a circle because we've got to have a room for a highlight so again little C bigger C and I color that in and we've got room for that highlight there all right then after that with the eyes we're gonna make some lines that go out for the middle 
Leave some space for the highlight. And we're going to do that on both sides as well. And for me, if I do both eyes at the same time, it helps me make the face more symmetrical. If I do one eye all the way to the end, and then I do the other eye all the way to the end, it doesn't come out looking exactly the same. And actually, I can see some things on here that I'm not going to like if I don't fix them. So, do, do, do. I'm going to do the little ball for the tear duct. And what do we have left? We could shade these. And I'm going to keep it simple since this is a beginner tutorial. And I'm just going to make it all kind of gray. And leave a little space for that highlight right there, remember? Same thing over here. Make it all kind of gray. Except for that one white space where the highlight is. Then eyelashes are my favorite part because they can make an eye look really good and they're really easy. We just make a couple little lines on the outside half of the eyelid and we just flick them up like that. Flick, flick, flick. You can make some short and some long that'll make it look more realistic. Same thing on this side. Eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows. Or not eyebrows, eyelashes, all right? And we've got a pretty start, good start to our portrait. I'm gonna give it some eyelids. So it's a little line from here. And then it kind of flattens out over the top. The curve isn't quite as much. Same right here. And there we go. Some subtle lines down on the bottom, same thing. I don't want my eyes to look all wrinkly. So I'm not gonna make them go all the way. I'm just gonna make some light lines so we know that the eyelid is there. All right, so right now, we've got our oval head shape. We've got it cut in half for where the eyes go. Do not put the eyes in the forehead. We've got the nose line, the bottom of the nose, halfway down from the eyes. And we got the mouth line halfway down between the nose and the chin. All right, so we did eyes today, and I think that's a good start. Click on the next video, and we'll be working on lips and noses and my favorite, hair. And by the end, remember, we're going to be able to draw portraits like that. And I think that's going to be pretty cool. So go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, subscribe so you catch the next post. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.